Hey guys, welcome back to the Cold Classic Kids Show, and today we're talking about THQ Nordic. THQ Nordic gets me, man. They know what I want, and they are willing to give me what I want the way I want it, and that is why I genuinely appreciate them. They aren't looking to release the next super overhyped game that they're going to claim is going to change gaming as we know it, society as we know it, um, cure diseases and hunger. No, they aren't interested in doing any of that. They're simply interested in appealing to nostalgia and giving the gamers good games that play well. And I am appreciative of that. And the game that they announced today that I am the most excited for is Destroy All Humans 2 Repro. That is awesome. I'm so glad that they're continuing the Destroy All Humans games. Um, even if they're just like fancy remasters, and honestly, it, the reason why I'm excited is because, like, five years ago, I never thought we'd ever see Destroy All Humans again. You know, when the original THQ Nordic went belly up, it's like, I thought it was over. But, man, with the remaster that they did of the first game, I bought the collector's edition. Here's Crypto, and that is this right here. And some people would have preferred a remake, but here's why I'm against that. Or at least why I appreciate what they did do with this remaster. is essentially, they kept the voice acting. They kept the gameplay. It plays well for what it is. The voice acting is exactly the same dialogue as the original game. The exact same voice actors. What they did do, though, was completely overhaul the visuals. They're nice and clean. They look cartoony still, but they look really fresh. And in, a, in this day and age where... Essentially, a lot of developers want to change dialogue from the past to make it more, you know, um, kid-friendly or basically acceptable to a modern audience. I think we know what that means at this point, and I'm not for that shit. Fuck out of here. Make a new game. Move on if you want to do modern audience bullshit so that I can get off the train. So, THQ Nordic, man. Um, here's the limited run of the first game I also have, which basically is a PS2 game. They put it on the PS4 as a port, and I'm happy to have this as well. But I just wanna, I just wanna talk about this uh, trailer that they showed off. It is very entertaining. What's the most entertaining about the Straw Humans is it's so juvenile. I remember playing this game, the original game at the for the first time essentially. At my best friend's house in grade school i would go over his house on fridays so we could hang out and most of the time he'd be playing world of warcraft because he was so obsessed with it sometimes i'd play that too but i would basically mess around with his xbox game and one of the games i ended up playing was the original destroy all humans and it was so juvenile i instantly fell in love with it he showed me all the stupid shit you could do in the game and overall it is just so much fun so i just want to look at this trailer and just talk about the silly shit and uh yeah yo let's get into it i'm hyped so a little background on destroy all humans in general you essentially play as an alien from outer space he comes to earth fuck shit up and basically what makes these games so appealing and entertaining is essentially their satiric take on the time periods that they're in with the first game it takes place during the 50s and now with the second game that they've announced it takes place during the 60s and they definitely play off that in the most hilarious ways possible um the second game really you'll encounter some really hippy trippy psychedelic shit as well as uh, some kgb russian dudes that crypto will definitely be fucking up it really is unapologetically a great, hilarious representation of the time period. And I really enjoy that the most about the games. THQ Nordic gave us both a CG trailer of the game as well as a gameplay trailer of the game. And we get a really good idea of what's happening in both. And from what I've seen thus far, it's pretty much in line with the remaster slash remake of the first game. Which I'm completely okay with. A game of its kind that I can directly compare it to is pretty much the Crash Bandicoot uh, Remastered Trilogy. Those games are pretty much made very similarly to how 
the remaster for Destroy All Humans is. And if this second game is just like that, I'm completely satisfied. I'm not asking for a lot. THQ Nordic, they have a good way of making simple things go a long way. And I think that's something that we can all appreciate, or at least people that are into these kind of games can appreciate overall. This announcement seems to be just for next gen and PC, so I'm wondering if eventually they'll also release a last gen version and a Switch version, because it's kind of strange to me. The Destroy All Humans 2020 came to the Switch, so that would kind of suck if they didn't continue to be able to port the game over to that platform since people have been introduced to it on there. So you'd like to continue the series as a whole, and it's not as though these games are necessarily um, the big pushers of innovation. So I wonder how that's going to play out. But since it is coming to just next gen and PC, I wonder how far these graphics and um, the gameplay will be pushing in comparison to the last gen version. But I think it definitely can be assumed that we're looking at a game that's going to run at 4K 60 on the PS5 and Xbox series console, which is really cool. Looking at the gameplay, the most immediate thing that stands out to me from Destroy All Humans 2020 is how colorful the game is. Looking at the 60s with psychedelic crazy shit and uh, tie-dye hippie trippy colors, so that definitely comes across very well. And Crypto is being a menace both on, on the ground himself and in his flying saucer, so that's very Destroy All Humans to me. I'm happy with what I'm seeing so far. If you're into just being a pain in the ass in a game, this game is definitely for you. Check out the previous games if you feel so inclined. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Destroy All Humans 2020 got a frame rate unlock on the PS5, so check that out. Alright guys, that's essentially what I'm excited for coming out of this Friday. I'm honestly, THQ Nordic, man, do your thing. Just, just be authentic to destroy all humans because it is ju juvenile in essence keep doing what you're doing if this game is just like the um like r the high quality remaster you guys did of the first game i'm all in like i i want more fun games and i know that oh it's just a fancy remaster like we want new games like i get you on that but when it comes to like western games it's always like we have to appeal to to the modern audience and i'm just like no, fuck the modern audience. I want games that are fun, not games that are fucking, like, just bitch made. Like, come on, man. I want juvenile, silly games. Like, serious games, too, are cool. But can we just have some diversity? Can we have games that that aren't ashamed to basically be like they were during, like, the golden years of video games? Like, that PS2 era with those crazy ass games that you could play for hundreds of hours and literally just do the most stupidest shit. Why is it that games now, just to me, the gameplay loop gets so boring so fast? It may be because I'm getting old, maybe because I'm getting nostalgic, but at the same time too, like, this is my main hobby. I don't know why when I play Western games, uh, I can't really get into some of them. I don't know what it is, guys. Um, maybe it's something that I'm looking over, but either way, look, another thing I'm really excited for with this game is that it takes place in 69. And I love this time period. I love the 60s and 70s. I wish more games would essentially take place during these times, especially the 70s. I think the last 70s game I played, like, game that took place in the 70s was Driver 76, and... Half of the reason I would play that game is because the gameplay was fun, but the other half would be because I wanted to listen to Sly and the Family Stone on the radio. Like, that, that is what made me super excited to play that game. And it was a great PSP game, and I enjoyed it for what it was. But yeah, we don't get many of these types of games that are, that are essentially unique. Everything kind of feels the same. So, I don't know. I'd rather get remasters of unique shit than boring new releases, but hey... I don't know, there's a lot of different games out there in terms of what they're trying to do. And Western games don't really do it that much for me lately, but hey, 
I'm excited for the Straw Humans repro. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, if you can, like the video, share the video, sub to the channel. I really appreciate all that. And with all that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.